How well organized is your Traktor DJ Music Collection? In Traktor Pro 3, there are loads of options that you can use to help better manage and organize your DJ music. In this video, I'm going to show you five quick fire tips to really help you get stuck into the settings in Traktor Pro 3 and start using your music library to your advantage. This will help any DJs, whether you're in a live environment playing to a crowd and need some tracks that will potentially work with the current track that you're playing. Or if you're at home and you're in the middle of downloading new music, cleaning up your DJ music library and just using Track to Pro 3 to its full potential. Please remember, as always, to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff on these videos to help us keep making more like this. And if you're just building your music library and want to add some more tracks to your collection, then stick around till the end where I've got a link to our free Crossfader music pack for you to download. These tracks are perfect to help you start your music library and also great tracks for learning how to mix and do some basic transitions. Let's get stuck in to that first tip. In these tips, I want to go beyond just making playlists and dragging, dropping tracks into different playlists. I hope by now that you're aware of how to do that. So these tips are really how to clean up your library and do more with it. So the first tip that I've got is down to importing music and speeding up that process. Rather than just dragging and dropping songs as you download them into the Tractor Pro 3 DJ software, you can start to automate this process. So if you go into Tractor's settings via this icon here, you can then navigate to file management. In file management, there is this selector here, import music folders at startup. And what that means is you can choose certain folders in your library, in your, on your laptop. And every time you load up the Tractor Pro 3 software, it will automatically add any new tracks that are in those folders into the software. So this is great if you're downloading music to your downloads folder, and then you drag and organize that music maybe into different genre folders or into an override music folder however you organize your music on your laptop you can automate the import process so i'm going to choose further down after selecting it under music folders i can click to add here so just to show you for example if i now go into my hard drive inside my hard drive i've got things like the crossfader sample pack i'm just going to use these as an example i can add a crossfader music pack here we go i'll just choose them so next time if I close this, next time when I load up my Tractor Pro 3 library, it will automatically import any music that's within those folders. And again, if I drag and drop new songs into there, when I quit and reopen Tractor for the next set, it will add that music automatically into my library. Tip number two is a really quick one, but it's often overlooked, especially by a lot of new DJs, to something like the Tractor software. This one's column headers. So let's have a look in the software at how you can activate different column headers to make your library nice and useful. At the top, we have things like cover art, title, artist, release, BPM, key. And if I scroll left and right, it reveals more. But a lot of these headers, as DJs, we don't really need them. So we can take them away. And there are some things that you might not see on your screen compared to this screen that you might want to add. So if we right click on any of these column headers, you can tick or untick any of these different options. So I don't want label, for example, I can untick that. I don't want icons, I can untick that. Icons is useful, however, just be aware that if you use a lot of stems and samples, these are the icons to indicate whether it is a sample or it is a stems file. So that's just something to bear in mind if you were gonna keep it. I might get rid of things like the comment, or the rating if I don't use ratings and what starts to happen is we start to eliminate those headers which leaves more room for other options. So I've got added here BPM and key which are both very important factors when it comes to DJing and then if they're tucked away left or right you can drag and drop these different headers into a different order. So for example I could get rid of release as well and then I've just got the key information that I need the title, the artist, the BPM, the key, and then the import date. If you use genres, again, I leave that there. I don't really use the genres tag, but if you use genres, then that's a good one to have there as well. While I'm talking about the column headers and what information is shown, the key, as you'll notice, yours might look slightly different. Mine is in the open format, which shows 1M, 11D, 10, and it's on basically a clock scale, so one to 12, and then there are two letters, D and M, to indicate different keys. But that's not the actual key of the song. If you want to learn more about mixing in key, then we have a full tutorial and blog post that breaks all of this down. So you can just click the link to find out more. To change this setting, 
go into the preferences and then go to analyze options and then you can have the displayed in tractor whether it's open key or the musical notes so i like to leave it in open key and you can change that if yours shows musical notes Tip number three is great for DJs that like to mix in key. I know I've just spoke about how to show up the keys of the song, but then beyond that, track to now in its latest update, you can show really quickly what tracks will currently mix with the master player um, and what will mix harmonically. So if I loaded a song onto one of the decks and I just played it, you might not be able to hear it because I've got the volume turned down, but when I play this, it automatically switches that to the master deck and you can see that here by this icon now if yours aren't showing up in different colors just click this musical note icon here and it shows up the key of the song as 10d and it also highlights by the colors in your library which tracks in your library will mix harmonically with the current master deck and this also works if you're using the the entire master channel or remix decks or stems decks it all works the same you can as well change the key of the song by knocking these arrows up and down. And again, it, it translates back to your library. So if you have changed the key of a song and they're playing it at minus two semitones, it shows up other tracks in your library that will work with that song. Now you can change which tracks it suggests. When it comes to mixing in key, you either have tracks that are in exactly the same key, you have tracks that are minor or major equivalents, and you have other keys that will theoretically work well together without getting into too much detail like i said there's a separate blog post and article to explain the theory behind it but to change those settings in tractor to show up whether you want just the same keys to show up or harmonic equivalents you go to the gear icon and then in browser details you can show key highlighting and you can have only color matching keys or you can have also color adjacent keys so other keys that will work theoretically with it um, or you can not color any keys. You can also change the reference as well. So at the moment we did have it on master deck, so anything that is the master player, it will read that as the overriding main key to work from, but you can have deck focus as well. So there are a few options there, depending on how you want your library to react to the songs that you're currently playing. Like I mentioned, this tip, make sure you've updated to the very latest version of Tractor Pro 3, because um, it's something that's been added quite recently. This next tip is quite useful if you're playing to an audience, a crowd, and you're struggling for what to play next. Maybe you need some suggestions or you need to narrow your collection down slightly to a much smaller group of songs to then pick from. Next to some of the track title information or metadata information, you'll find this little search viewfinder. It's like a little magnifying glass. And if you click on any of those magnifying glasses, it will bring It'll basically search for your library, any other tracks that are around, say for example, this one, 162 BPM. So you've got a few different BPMs fluctuating here, but these are other tracks that are around that similar BPM. So if you're suddenly mixing something at 100 BPM and you need to find everything else in your library around that BPM, just click that icon. Again, if you're mixing in a certain key and you want to find other tracks in your library in that key, just click the search icon and then again, these are the other keys that will theoretically mix together and it just gives you suggestions. When you're mixing live and you're just struggling on the spot, hitting that, that little icon can really help narrow your library down and give you some more suggestions and some more ideas of what to play beyond just what you've already pre-planned in your playlists. And finally, this last tip, tip number five, is really going to help you clean up your music library. Down the line, you might get to a point where you're deleting lots of songs, you're moving lots of songs around on your computer, and Traxter starts to wonder where those files are. It starts to just clutter up your library, and you've got lots of missing files there and things like that. So this is a really neat feature to know about to then keep your music library nice and clean within the Traxter Pro 3 software. So all you need to do here is go into All Tracks, and then I use Command A, because I'm on a Mac, or Control A to select All, and then if I right click, you'll see check consistency. Now clicking check consistency, it searches through all of those tracks and it will tell you all the tracks here. We've got total tracks that it's, it's searched through. It'll tell you how many are missing, how many are not analyzed, and how many tracks there are left to analyze. So you could literally bulk analyze by clicking the analyze button. You could remove the missing files that have 
you have since been deleted on your computer or you could relocate those files if you've just moved them so this is a really good panel to be aware of and something to jump into regularly to make sure all the files are in the right place and they're all located so you don't have any surprises when you're playing live to a crowd or you know playing a live set and you go to load a song and now you can't find it all of this stuff's really well done to be done at home so that's a really good panel to check out you'll notice i've got tracks on my hard drive but if i were to eject my hard drive and now when i go back in and do it again check consistency you can see that tracks missing 66 so you know it's good ways of troubleshooting things like that if it's reading your hard drive or not and all of those little things so that's my quick tips quick tip number five clean that music library up and keep it clean and there we have some quick fire tips to help you better manage and organize your music library in Tractor Pro 3. I'd love to know which one of those five tips was either your favorite or one that you didn't know before that you know now and you're going to start implementing and using. All you need to do is just comment below, comment one to five, which one was your favorite tip uh, that you're going to start using. I'd love to know in the comments. Please remember, as always, to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. And as promised, if you want access to that free Crossfader music pack, then you can sign up via the link and you'll get direct access to this music pack. It will help you build your music library. Like I said, they're great tracks to just practice with and get started with, and they're exclusive just to Crossfader. So go check that out, and I'll see you in another tips video very soon.